Friends, this side Rahul Mohan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist. Now standing today, which is 29th October 2019, practically 11 a.m., 11 p.m. in the morning. But this is the earliest video we are shooting. We are going to be shooting a video about our framework. You know that Treasury Consulting launched their own Treasury framework, which is Treasury Earnings at Risk, which is TEAR, T-E-A-R. Well, in English, the lexical, there are two definitions of tier. One is which is coming from the eyes and one is this, which is Treasury Earnings at Risk. Now, in this, we would be covering from Treasury Earnings at Risk OIS FRA framework. Well, the first advice to all the Indian peoples, those who are watching this video, please do not watch. Do not waste your time because the reason is that your central bank, which is Reserve Bank of India, will never allow this architecture in India. So if today you are 24, 25, could be 35 like me, I will give you in writing that by the time I would be 95, which is 60 years from now, Reserve Bank will never allow that because Indian Central Bank do not understand that. So do not waste your time. You can quit the video and watch the Shah Rukh Khan movie. This is more better because watching this video is only for the people where central banks like Monetary Authority of Singapore, Federal Reserve, European Central Bank, Bank of England, Reserve Bank for Australia, they hire this. Because one of the predominant base for this framework, tier, Treasury Earnings at Risk is that, you know, uh, around 90% now, okay, uh, let me give you an example. <clears throat> Today, which is 29th October 2019. Today, there is a new scheme about Amazon. While 99% of the people believe that news about Amazon might be their dispute with Pentagon, they lost $10 billion contract against Microsoft. It could be they launching another something in AWS, might be they are uh, investing heavily in their uh, Indian entities, could be like that. No, the news is very different and very attractive news which came from Amazon is that Amazon Treasury is now recognized as one of the finest treasuries we have in the globe. And that's amazing. You know, because we know that the business interest of Amazon is in almost everything. They have business interest in uh, the grocery business, AWS not to mention, e-commerce not to mention, technology not to mention, and they have a humongous business interest. Now, considering all these business interests, it is predominantly important for Amazon to have a very good treasury function. And I'm very glad that today I got this news that Amazon is recognized as one of the finest treasuries in the globe. And very sorry to feel that this award, the, the, the recipient of this award should be Apple, but unfortunately Apple is nowhere in the list because Apple is number, number one. I'm using Apple phone, a big fan of Apple products, Steve Jobs, everyone know. But Apple is not managing the treasury the way it should be. And this is since Mr. Jobs time. So the framework of the company is very important. And that framework decides. So Amazon is running a treasury in a very absolute way. You know, Google is running a treasury in a very absolute way. Well, Reliance Industries Limited, not to mention, they work like a hedge fund. On the contrary, we have TCS, Tata Consultancy Services. For a minute, forget they are the only source of dividend the Tata company left with. And last but not the least, a global conglomerate in engineering, Larson and Tubro. So Larson and Tubro, Tata Consultancy Services, Exxon Mobil, to an, to an extent Aramco, now Amazon, you have Reliance Industries Limited, they need hats off. Because hats off to them the way they manage strategy. They set up an example, they all into the different different business streams they have like reliance is having business interest now in e-commerce in telecommunication and now of course the petroleum business they of course have the, uh, the business interest while apple is completely technological based company amazon is having e-commerce and technological so treasury matters so our framework which is treasury earnings at risk will let the corporate treasuries know that how much you are losing actually how much you are losing because you are not managing the treasury the way you should be managed. In this, we would be covering a framework which is OIS FRA framework. Well, OIS, I have repeatedly told on my channel that OIS stands for Overnight Index Swap, while FRA stands for Forward Rate Agreement. 
the entire globe is managed is focusing on brexit i call him an idiot but boris johnson failed thrice yesterday when the british parliament said we are no to early election in uk he is still pressing on the 11th december as a date or could be 11th and 12th whatever and uh, uh, i think it's 11th suggested by bloomberg for early election in uh, uk but in this whole gamut there is one important thing which people missed is the study on the brexit and that study on the brexit concludes that the british firms do not use the local currency assets and local currency liabilities in a relevant way you know the big, biggest problem with the human mind is that human mind focus too much about what is being presented it never thought what is not being presented and that is where we are losing so this time our framework would let you know that how we can have ois which is overnight index swap and fra framework in your organization this video is relevant for all the organizations those who manage their treasury as a profit center few i named you know which is uh, reliance industries limited exxon mobil you know few i names reliance industries limited exxon mobil amazon and all well there are many in nature but the count is very 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 limited so let me give you a holistic example first of all to have this framework you need a strong treasury department and when i say a strong treasury department you need a department which gives you you know uh, a kind of competence and let give them their dues like in army we mentioned that give them their dues so you know we they should have their dues they should have bloomberg they should have reuters and more importantly which is definitely not the scene in most of the time is that the cfo should have the power to decide in majority of the organization few i mentioned that cfo do not have power to decide he again and again for a very petty decision for a very petty and small decision he need to go to the board and it waste time remember that the difference between the treasury decisions and the war decision is relatively very same very hair line difference so when a colonel general lieutenant captain when they at the war front and they see that the enemy is coming from this side with a different weaponry well they have their own force with a different weaponry and and god forbid the plans they have made is not working in the rightest way then the captain take a call immediately it's a fraction of second so it's just like a cricket the cricket the army and the treasury somehow on the same platform like the only difference is that cricketer decides in a fraction of second could be 1/4 of a second 1/3 of a second sometimes lesser than that while a lieutenant on an army person he needs he might have few minutes could be few 5 minutes 6 minutes sometimes 10 minutes while a treasurer is having few hours to decide and in some cases few minutes to decide so this framework can be possible only in a organization where we have a dedicated treasury department and this treasury department is having its own dues they have a dedicated cfo certified uh, chief financial officer they have their dedicated uh, treasury team they are equipped with reuters and bloomberg and in some cases fx all and integral fx the oms and and mtf platforms and the right policies updated at the right point of time now every organization is having two set of assets you call this reliance amazon exxon saudi aramco google microsoft scl infi you call this any company treasury consulting any company every organization would have two set of asset as well as liabilities now i take a hold here h o l d in hold i mean to say if you have a skew mindset you know like rbi that this framework is only applicable on the liabilities then you should quit the video right now because this framework is applicable on asset as well as liabilities and if you are thinking that they thus both asset as well as liabilities are not on the same front then you are again mistaken because just like the two tracks of the railway which move together can i have say that one track of the railway is here and one track of the railway is here no when a plane is landing can we say that both the tires wheels should be land at the same point of time this is the, this is the skill of the pilot so asset and liability should be in match if you give due respect to asset not to liabilities this framework never work 
if you do vice versa this will never work the due respect has to be given so every organization would have two set of asset as well as liabilities one which you have one which is probable to come now i have categorized this as fx which is fixed assets and liabilities while one i i am saying fixed means it doesn't mean that it is fixed assets in an accounting palace which is plant and machinery uh, fixtures furniture no fixed means i know i have that so don't go by the accounting palace here right fixed means i know i have that it could be current it could be non current i repeat it could be current it could be non current while here i have probable asset and liabilities which means something which is bound to come example we got a news today amazon is coming to india which is amazon foods when amazon will hit india with amazon food and whatever limited information we have in the public domain which is that they are in sync with the food panda they are either buying food panda or maybe they are in sync with some professional engagement with the food panda for that it effectively meant that from a corporate treasury angle it doesn't matter whether the pav bhaji which amazon will be selling this pav bhaji would be 5 dollar 10 dollar or 15 dollar but one good thing which is that amazon would be pumping money in india more money which is pertaining to the food business now since amazon would be pumping more money in india the company has not yet formed maybe the company formed now this is probable asset and liabilities on the contrary let's talk about e-commerce business of amazon amazon e-commerce business in india is well defined i think better than flipkart now they definitely have lot of assets they definitely have lot of liabilities since they have lot of asset lot of liabilities the good thing is that it is in the balance sheet now since it is the balance sheet we categorize here so if you are thinking that this framework would applicable only on the amazon e-commerce business which is well established in india i'm sorry and if you are thinking this framework do not apply to that amazon food business which they're going to launch in india i'm sorry and amazon i have quoted is just an example it could be reliance also it could be google also it could be microsoft or any company just an example when in this fixed assets and liabilities you have current and non-current assets you have current and non-current liabilities if you are a strict accounting professional could be cpa certified public accountant could be ca well i have decided that ca should not be termed as a chartered accountant rather they should be termed as a certified accountants now you know i know several ca you know they will feel angry what i'm saying because every time there is a fraud happens in india diwan housing infrastructure leasing now infosys uh jan irrigation and, and 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 the list is pretty long it is not it is not chartered accountant it is certified accountant who is doing thappa you know who is stamping that you bring whatever balance sheet i will sign but anyways let's move further so you have current and non current assets you have current and non current liabilities similarly you have current and non current probable and current and non current probable asset and liabilities now here i am going to be covering overnight index one well. and it doesn't matter you have gbp you have euro you have swiss franc you have indian rupee you have us dollars you have uh, aussie dollar you have new zealand dollar you have whatever it doesn't make a difference because overnight index swap is there in almost every currency of the globe now let me put a question a lot of people writing to me and saying that you say cfa as certified financial analyst yes i do and frm as faltu risk management i do let me ask question from two people which is cfa certified financial analyst and frm faltu risk management which is that can i have two currencies in the world where ois is not there so in majority of the currencies of the globe i have ois few i mentioned us dollar gbp euro swiss franc aussie dollar new zealand dollar japanese yen sing dollar and almost every but can i have few currencies where i do not have ois show your knowledge tell me that you are certified financial analyst books is even talking about this 
forget this framework rest assured similarly every ois is having two step two legs whatever currency it is aussie new z dollar gbp euro swiss franc doesn't make a difference one is the floating rate benchmark and one is the ois swap rate which is fixed one different contention which is coming right now in the market the cfa garp and frm and unfortunately the cpa and forget the ca institute they are not talking is that when the libor replacement will happen and eventually it would happen we know that because 2021 is the last date for that now when it would happen then this leg which is floating rate benchmark would be severely impacted because initially even 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 ICE intercontinental exchange you know and multiple platform CME Chicago Mercantile Exchange they spent heavily on SFR secured overnight financing rate but now i have eight candidates eight let me ask another question from CFA what all can you name eight candidates who are fighting for the libor replacement eight numeric eight so now i have eight candidates here so this is going to be an issue in at future as far as the pricing is concerned i'm not sure well this oil swap rate would definitely be fixed would continue to be fixed when i come here because <coughs> sorry for that whatever i have i can take ois whatever is probable i will take frm i know that many people will confuse that whatever i have in the books like amazon e-commerce assume yourself as a treasurer for amazon e-commerce you can take up the uh, ois on that and whatever probable amazon is in investing you can take fra exactly now let me give you an example one week before treasury consulting took an interview in university of delhi and colleges university of delhi south campus which is also known as mfc masters in financial control i think the name has changed a little bit now we already said that our interviews is very tough it's not easy to work with treasury consulting people love to work in fact many it companies treasury professional wanted to quit their jobs and want to work with us but we always say no anyways six candidates said finally after you know they agreed to sit i asked one question from five in fact six i said what is fra forward rate agreement and you would be surprised to know that the candidates those who are doing mba masters in business administration university of degree university of delhi spending lakhs of rupees the answer i got that forward rate agreement helps you to protect the rate of a wheat by a farmer you know by a farmer so that he can sell that wheat once it produced or alternatively it helps you to fix the rate of the commodity which you are making so that you can be hedged this is indian mba this is indian mba and this is the knowledge level of indian mba and you know when i asked him who told you he said my professor told me i challenged any course if anyone talks about the rightest definition of fra forward rate agreement forward rate agreement is one of the finest invention by the g7 banks and specifically thank you to the goldman it is used extensively to cover the upcoming interest rate exposures in the book which is under negotiation so example amazon wanted to bring amazon foods in india they have decided to borrow 10000 crores in india say 8000 crores in india they talked with jp morgan chase india and jp morgan chase india agreed to lend 8000 crore to amazon and assuming the rate of interest is 7.5% or hypothetical numbers amazon treasurer is an intelligent person he knows that one month down the line say two months down the line amazon uh, the reserve bank will cut the repo rates okay so market consensus is that 25 bips repo rate would cut amazon food uh, treasurer what he would be doing is that he would immediately book the fra 
wherein he would sell FRA at the agreed rate in the market. So when when the rate would cut, when the rate would cut, he sold at 6.5, assuming the FRA at 6.5 for three months, say whatever period we have taken. And when RBI cut the rate, he got a profit of that. So in Hindi, so, so in English, it means that the funding is yet to come. Amazon agreed with JP Morgan that after a few months, we will take the funding. And now, without having funding in the pocket, he got the benefit of 25 bips to Amazon, which is PNL credit. So forward rate agreement is one of the finest invention we have in the G7 banks. And in fact, Forward rate agreement is now a history because after LIBOR, the world started talking synthetic LIBOR and the world started talking synthetic FRA, which is synthetic forward rate agreements. Here we are discussing only forward rate agreements. To come back to the story, the probables would have OIS while the, sorry, the fix would have OIS while the probables would have FRA. FRA are of two types. Number one, it is quoted, which is on Reuters, Bloomberg's, you can see very easily. While another, it is traded, where the quote is not available, you need to take from the bank. So it's, it's not available on Reuters. Now one very intelligent people of the globe are saying that the maximum period of the FRA is 12 into 24, which is 12 months down the line, but they do not know that even after 12 into 24, FRA is applicable. But the difference is that if I need to take FRA after 12 and 24, I need to go to banks. And here, if I contact five bank, which is JP Morgan, City and Standard Chartered for a minute, JP Morgan, City and Standard Chartered, all three will give me different rates. And I cannot complain. Because it is not quoted, it is traded. And once it is traded, you cannot complain. Because it is not quoted on Reuters, it is not quoted on Bloomberg. It's being traded between banks, they giving you the rate. Agree, take, do not agree, get out. While both, while this quoted is divided further into two parts, which is short term FRA and medium term FRA. Eventually, Hall would have implications on the benchmark curves of the globe. Now, Indian benchmark curve is iron BMK, US benchmark curve is USD BMK, Sing dollar benchmark curve is Singapore uh, SGD BMK, NZD BMK, uh, USD BMK, you know, J JPY BMK, and we have a lot of benchmark curves. But I have a question for CFA, Certified Financial Analyst. How many benchmark curves we have in a globe? Sitting today on 29th October 2019, I am asking a 200 sing dollar question from you. 10,000 rupees question from you. How many benchmark curves we have in the globe? Let me know. And please evaluate your books of CFA, whether they are giving you the list of benchmark curves or not. So for a company who have a fixed assets and liabilities like Amazon, probable assets and liabilities like Amazon, they are having benchmark curves, they are having OIS as well as FRA and both will help them to cover the benchmark curves. Which is this, which is this, when we speak about strictly Amazon India, then the benchmark is INBMK and well here is also INBMK. So OIS and FRA, here we can link with INBMK. We have part one here, we have part two here. This can only be possible provided you have a treasury department who will deal directly with the front office. You need a very dedicated accounting department who understand IFRS 9 accounting of that. In most of the cases, they do not understand IFRS accounting for that. That is another issue. Well, alternatively, the impact of this will go in the balance sheet, surely. It will go in the PNL surely, which is hedge accounting, and more importantly, it will go to the cash flow, which is again the revaluation part, and it will also impact CMA reporting. 
CMA stands for continuous monitoring activity. This framework is getting live soon. That I assure you. Now, before winding up this video, let me ask four questions from the people. That is why I said Indians do not watch this video because your central bank will never allow that. Number one, first question, very important question is that can I have the eight candidates, those who are fighting for this part, this piece, eight, numeric eight. Question number two, the total, total uh, benchmark curves we have in the globe. Question number two. Question number three, how this framework together will impact the CMA reporting of the bank? Well, uh, of the company, well, every company do the CMA reporting. Every company, you say Amazon, Reliance, Google, Apple, everyone do that. How this impact the uh, CMA reporting? And more importantly, if I am a treasurer, strong treasurer, good understanding, and I'm right up front here, how can I, how, how can I trade here? With this, we thank you very much. You know my mobile number, which is plus nine one. 9899242978 you know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global and please remember that we never worry about the feedback we never worry about the total quantum of the views which people have on our videos because we never share videos to please people i was calling cfa as certified financial analyst and FRM as Faltu Risk Management and would continue to call this. Because I know that both the degrees do not have even one line of what I said in their books. And people are sparing thousands and thousands of dollars every year on these degrees and end up being waste. Well, at the end of the day, I have a very good news for you, which is that in 2019 till now, which is YTD, 60,000, 60, 60,000 60, people are asked to go in the Wall Street banks. 60, 60,000 and around 30,000 more job cuts are on the line. So total approximately 100,000 job cuts are confirmed in 2019. And 2020 Goldman and all, almost every bank predicted that the job cuts are on the cards. Now, I request people to have CFA, CPA, FRM, GARP so that they would continue to join this bank and bank know that these degrees are good for nothing. With this, we thank you very much. You know my mobile number. Don't forget our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global and a lot of action on the cards that I assure you. Have a good time. Talk soon.